let's jump over to our man Teddy Kegsat. And folks, head on over to the front page of TFNN. You can check out the Tiger Forex report by Teddy Kegstad. It's up here, the first issue released this morning. Teddy Kegstad, good morning. Good morning, Tommy. Thanks for doing the uh, promo for the newsletter today. Appreciate it. Well, listen, I'll tell you, thank you so much for doing such a great job for the listeners being out here doing these weekly segments, Teddy. And uh, and we're excited for this letter. I know we've gotten um, some good feedback in terms of the excitement of you putting out a product on a weekly basis, talking about the Forex market. And maybe you can just talk to us a little bit, Teddy, off the bat um, about what you'll be doing on the letter. And folks, it's all right here on the front page of TFNN. You can save 25% off. I'll, I'll check it out. I'll, I'll show you in a second um, for the life of your subscription. But if you could just talk to the listeners, the viewers, about what you'll be doing for the letter and, and what you'll be talking about in that letter, Teddy. Sure. Um, well, I'm going to highlight, uh, obviously, the major uh, Forex pairs uh, and also uh, going to also highlight the dollar index as well as the 30-year Treasury bond and crude oil because of their influences on different currency pairs. So in, in each, as I break down each market, I'll have uh, different levels to, so that um, – Anyone that subscribes to the newsletter, they can key off of those levels and be aware of them, especially for, you know, dictating on what positions they are. It's not necessarily trying to guide somebody into a position as much as it is as making sure people are aware of where their risks should be and where they should be watching out for markets to move. It's pretty cool. And I do have uh, the first issue up. I'm going to give them a quick glimpse, Teddy, as I slide through. But you have some great charts in here, man. You kick it off with the dollar. Um, you got resistance areas. You have corrective support zones. You talk about where things may be bearish if it breaks certain levels. Uh, you do a great job with the charts, man. Uh, I'm excited Thank to you. read this letter myself on Mondays. I am. And so, folks, you head on over to the front page of TFNN. You can hit the subscribe button. OK, and the code that you enter is Teddy 25. You see the promo code section. I have it up on my screen right now. Teddy 25. Just make sure you hit the add button and you'll see you save 25 percent, which is 2425 off the 97. And that gets you to a price of seventy two dollars and seventy five cents. And you lock that in for the life of your subscription as long as you subscribe, folks. Not a one month deal. Uh, I encourage you to check it out. still comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So lock that in. Don't miss that special. And if it doesn't fit your trading, if it's if you don't have the time for it, worst case, just ask for that 30-day money-back guarantee. You got nothing to risk. All right. Let's talk a little bit of market, Teddy. So we kick things off, man. You got the mm -hmm. S&Ps. Uh, start the day positive. We snuck into the negative a bit by 13 points. Uh, we got bonds, the 10-year back at about 3.2, and we have crude sitting pretty healthily, right, at like uh, pretty healthy, I should say, about 108. What are you looking at in this market as we, as we come into the July 4th holiday weekend? Uh, well, actually, that's, uh, we do have a holiday market uh, coming up. So all traders out there, please be wary of, of uh, Thursday afternoon into Friday. So expect a lot, of, a lot of people in the finance business are taking a long weekend. You can count on that. So it's going to be a lot of algo trading, a lot of erroneous moves. So if you're in a position, work it, whatever. But I would highly suggest you stay out of the markets um, Thursday afternoon into Friday for one. Um, right now, I'm watching the uh, interest rate markets. The dollar has been under pressure for most of the uh, beginning of the trade trading week overnight from Sundays when it first opened up. It tried to have a little bit of strength and then it just kind of wasn't uh, able to happen. And then this morning before the, uh, you know, basically I think around six o'clock, we started to get a little dollar rally. And then we, as we got closer to the uh, stock market opening, everything started to fizzle out. So, but, but I'm looking at the bonds and right now they're holding pretty firm about down in one buck right now, one handle. And I think the 10 years down like 17, 16 ticks also, you know, so if that can stay there all day long, um, remember last week, I think we talked on Wednesday about how I, I was looking for the bonds to top out around that 136 to 138 area. And they, they spiked into that area. They fell just a little short of the 138 target. So um, I, if we could get another rally in the bonds, but I think right now we're seeing that where the interest rates are going to start to turn back to support. And if they do lay on that all day today, the U.S. dollar, I say, watch out. We have a bear trap here. The bulls are going to come back very strongly. Yeah, it seems pretty interesting, right? As in even the 10 year, we were approaching 3.5 at one point during my program last week. It was either Thursday or Friday. Uh, I thought we were going to get a two handle on the Ted, you know, Teddy. I think it was at 3.03, mm -hmm. you know, and the markets were moving so quickly. And just like that, we're back to 3.2%. And I was just talking about Hori program. The rhetoric is almost like, oh, things have eased now, right? Rates are pulling back. Maybe it got ahead of each other. And I was like, man, what's, there's no data 
basically, now yes, we've seen some maybe recessionary data, but there's mm -hmm. no data on the inflation front besides, you know, crude easing maybe a bit. But there's, mm -hmm. the, we're coming off like a record CPI number, which is pretty amazing right. when you think about like the talk of maybe we've peaked out. And meanwhile, <laughs> we just got a CPI number in May that was the record number and March was supposed to be the record. Right? right, so it's kind of interesting, right. all that rhetoric, and now we come back today though, and yeah, we got the 10-year back to 3.2%, and the market just goes uh, negative by 15 points right now. Um, right. Volatility not gone, the point. You know what I mean, as in there's no way that that has to be the, no. the, the end of it when the data basically is right. still at record territory. And it's not just the futures driving this because the cash bond market's being sold off right now, just a fact. You know, there, it's just, it is being sold off, it's gonna be continuing to be sold off, and you have gotta realize that there's a lot of foreign countries that own our debt. They're selling our debt right now. They got to scramble. They need money. They need things for, you know, they need to balance their own books right now. And as far as right now, it's not that we have dollar strength right now. It's that, that all these other currencies are, wor are weak versus the dollar. So when dollar weakness really starts to stick out and starts to see little flags going over, hey, we actually have dollar weakness, we're going to see the dollar fall really, really hard. You know, and I'm, I'm not looking forward to that when that happens. And what would that do to, to the yen if we see that type of action? We got the yen at about 135 right now. Oh, we'll see the yen back down around 105 in a heartbeat. When Oof. the dollar starts to turn, oh yeah, we're gonna see that, you'll see it snap back huge, which means then you're gonna, you think we have inflation now, what happens when our exports start to skyrocket? And we, yeah. we released all the, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't matter about tariffs anymore. It's just going to matter between the inflation of the cost of goods coming towards us and then the currency conversion. I mean, good luck. I'm, like, I'm telling you right now, start buying your Christmas gifts for not just this year, but the next year or two, because <laughs> the average person is going to have, start to really have to make choices. Oof. Um, well, so so real quick, back to the letter, Teddy, not real quick, but mm -hmm. so you put the letter out on Monday. We have the letter out today, the first issue, um, and you're going to provide updates when warranted. You will provide specific trades when warranted. What kind of trades mm -hmm. do you envision? Are you going to be trading Forex in there? Are you going to be trading um, options in there? Is it the whole gambit? What, what are you going to be talking about? Um, well, obviously, with the uh, with the letter, I'm going to focus predominantly on the actual forex markets. But I will absolutely put you in trades, like if it's especially a 30-year trade, or I will mean, probably have some 10-year every once in a while thrown in there. Um, nice. The dollar index, because the dollar index can be traded as well, you know. So I will have certain levels like that. And if I cool. think that there's a signal, especially when you get a lot of times when they start to rack up, where I have them in multiple currency crosses in the dollar index, then I'll lay out a whole bunch of trades where it'll be for nice. FX futures options and binary options too so nice. especially because it's at the beginning of the week awesome well listen man we we look forward to it and and again thanks for you know all this education and doing the letter and, and it's a beautiful thing man and folks check it out on the front page of tfnn you can save 25 percent. still comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee and uh i know you're going to be talking to my dad this afternoon during the three yeah. o'clock hour and i'll be talking to you wednesday as well we'll get double duty sounds good sounds great awesome I'll teddy i later. appreciate it okay Thank have a you. great monday man all right